Very good morning, children. As always, many of you have answered for the previous video questions. Yes, when you alter the pH 7.8, what happens in the stomach digestion? Of course, enzymes may not act. So, digestion of protein will become a problem. Okay? Yes, very good. Many of you have answered for the question. Another question, when we eat only almond or peanut, okay, uh, what digestion, where the digestion begins? If they ask, of course, it is again in the stomach only. Yes, children. So, after stomach, of course, we are moving to the small intestine. The length of small intestine is around 5 to 7 meter. See, the length is 7 meter. Then why it is called small intestine? Yes, very good. The diameter is only 2.5 centimeter. So, because of the diameter, it is called the smaller intestine. Okay, what are the parts we find in the small intestine? We find duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Okay, so these are the three parts you can find. And of course, which is the longest part possible? Ilium is the longest part among the three. And duodenum, you know what is the shape of duodenum? Of course, it is a C-shaped organ. Possible question, children. C-shaped organ. And jejunum having thicker wall connecting these two, of course. The major role of jejunum is secretion and major role of ileum is absorption. As it is thicker wall, see both of this we have secretion and absorption but predominant is secretion in case of jejunum and ileum we have absorption is predominant. I hope you understood children. Fine. So, we will first study about duodenum in detail. As you can see, after the pyloric sphincter, you remember we discussed pyloric sphincter. So, there will be a C-shaped organ. Okay, this is pyloric sphincter and this is our duodenum. Which has all four layers, of course, you know, it starts from cirrhosa, muscularis, submucosa and mucosa. So, all these four layers we can find. And one more unique point. In submucosa, all these places we study goblet cell secrete mucus. But here in submucosa, we have Brunner's gland. Which is secrete, of course, mucus. And this Brunner gland also similar to that uh, goblet cell mucus. But additionally, here we are secreting mucus. A possible question. Um, of course, in small submucosa, we have Brunner gland. Location of Brunner gland can be a question. So, this is duodenum. If you see duodenum, one side of the duodenum where we find a triangular structure called liver, another side you can find pancreas. So, first let us learn about liver. And 
and these lobes are having hepatic lobules. This is very important again. So, what is the structural and functional unit of liver? Yes, hepatic lobules. Okay, and these hepatic lobules you can find inside hepatocytes. So these are called hepatocytes, liver cells. And these hepatocytes are engaged themselves in the production of bile. So they produce bile. Okay, children. And these bile, whatever they produce, can you see the hepatic duct here? So right hepatic and left hepatic, hepatic duct. Why are these hepatic duct? It comes to the gallbladder. So this gallbladder is a green color sac like structure, and this gallbladder it reserves that bile. After that, from Gallbladder, there is a duct called cystic duct. And this hepatic duct and cystic duct commonly then joins and forms common bile duct. Questions will come even from here. Please remember the duct, what you find in the liver is called hepatic duct. And then in the gallbladder, we have a duct called cystic duct. And then these two will join and commonly open as common bile duct. Okay? Are you clear children? So we are producing bile only from the liver. Where do you find the liver? Do you find the liver in the abdomen? Upper abdomen? Or lower abdomen? Please post your answers in the comment box. And one more question is, can you name the digestive juice without any enzyme? So digestive juice, but does not have enzyme. Please post your answers children and support me. Thank you all for watching this video.